guys, crew of Blind Way back. I'm Calvin. I'm Rick. I'm Shane. And we are back with Peaky Blinders once again. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> yep. In the phone booth. Yep. With the revolver. Ha <laughs> ha! Clue joke! But seriously, Sam Neill's dead. And <coughs> I'm sick. Sorry, my voice sounds kind of weird. <laughs> sounds like you're... He said, like, Sam Neill's dead. Oh my god, I thought he was been dead for a little bit, hasn't he? Well, let's see, there was a two year time skip. He died in the finale, I thought. Yes. Yeah, and then we had the premiere and he wasn't in it. <laughs> All right, just making sure I wasn't missing something. Because <laughs> hey, Daniel's dead, but well, shit, I thought that was two episodes ago. Okay. It still but, resonates in my heart. Catching up. Okay. And then now they're working with the Russians. Kind of. Yep. But also with they're the government. Working, they're working with the rights, or with the whites against the reds. Okay, yeah. And they're Tommy's doing, shaking, like, he's scared. The all kind of double agent stuff. He got married. Yeah. Also, the one guy that Polly was talking to is a doctor from Deep Space Nine. All right, all right. I haven't well, seen that's that, but right. probably where you guys know him from. It might be. I haven't yeah. seen it, so I doubt it. Yeah, I mean, I might recognize him from something. So we had his basically his wedding and his reception there. Mm -hmm. There's supposed to be no fighting, and there, there was. And racing. Yeah, there was. But it was away <laughs> from the women. So away, from, away from the women. Yeah. That's what was important. I think should be. Oh, yeah, and one thing I remember about the show is, like, it felt different, like the tone. Yeah, you know I mean, it was very different. Yeah, it was a different feel. We talked about feel. that last time. Yeah, it was. It had a different feel. Yeah, we had that like really unsettling scene with Arthur killing that guy. It was like yep. Hans Zimmerman music, like high strings and everything else. Yeah, it was different. And yeah. he had cleaned up and met a godly, God-fearing woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they're God-fearing, but they're not always godly. Oof. Okay. But she seems to be okay now. <clears throat> you know. Yep. Um, Grace's ex committed suicide. That's what we've been told. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Her side of the family doesn't know. Mm hmm. Which makes me feel like there's some shenanigans there. I don't know what kind of shenanigans. Yeah. Maybe shenanigans in the cover up or shenanigans in the cause of. Like maybe he found out and tried to go against Tommy and one of Tommy's guys sorted him out or something. I don't know. Yeah. Hard to say. Also, oh. Michael. Uh, the new kid doesn't partake in any of the debauchery, really. Didn't, didn't. but is now part of the family. Yeah, but one thing yeah. he said to the girl is that he doesn't partake in, like, the drugs and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. He's the respectable-looking one that does all the yeah. official business and everything like that. So he has to stay away from anything that could get him and, by extension, the family business in trouble. And there's a vault and a big vault. There is a very big vault. A big vault, and they're dealing with international Lots affairs. Lots of money. The stakes have never been higher. They're buying tanks, which they're going to sell. Or no, they're stealing tanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're stealing tanks, which they're going to sell. Or maybe they are buying tanks. The tanks involved. I bet on the blinders. So shocked. Who did he say? For who? I think he said Angela, almost. Angel. Angel, Angel okay. okay. It was the son of... Uh, it, yeah. Angel Chagnetta. So that was the foreign woman that he wasn't supposed to... Huh? That was his girlfriend that they told Angel to not... The, no, the girl was the guy, the girl in the first episode who they were harassing in the hallway. And she's like, tell Tommy I'll see who the fuck I want to see. Right. And I don't think it was... Yeah, it was... It wasn't that the secretary lady? Yeah. 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 It's Lisa Stark. Right. Lisa. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. that was just a that was just a hitman. That's a hitman. Yeah, from London. Fillmore. That's the guy from London. Yeah, I think they do a better job than that. That seemed personal. It, you know, he comes it out. It was personal. Not he, for him. He, he's a hitman. He has to send a message if he's paid by the Chingreta. If he's paid he to die to... right there to get caught. I was gonna say. Well, he, he wasn't that's... supposed to get caught. How do you not? Yeah. Uh, he but... wasn't good. I'm not saying he was good. Well, he was well, the best or anything well, like that. Why do they? Pay some guy to come to London. <laughs> maybe, he was a guy, maybe he was a guy who didn't have anything to live for. He was paying... The the family was paying his family or something like that. That's possible. I hope he just is a badass that hasn't been revealed yet. And that's just... Something. He doesn't have a face now. No, he's Jesus. he's dead. Yeah. So Patrick Jarvis and, of course, um, Priest Guy, what's his name? Uh, Father John Hughes. Yeah, they're... Director of such classics such as The Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, huh? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> man, a, a lot of stuff happened. Yeah, that and, felt like a long one. But not in a bad way. I wasn't like, man. You no. know what I mean? Yeah. It was just like the pacing, like things kept changing. Like, there's new stakes, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
and new settings. And just like that end, we had that like the music, that really unsettling music yep. at the end. Yeah, and the very like artistic yeah. portrayal of violence. It reminds me a lot of Clockwork Orange. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the, the, Italians, the Italians were obviously pissed. You know, I thought John did something stupid, you know what I mean? Uh, but they had to double down now. Yeah, Tommy seems paranoid. It's, it's definitely He's got a lot going on. International intrigue. Yeah. It really raises the stakes and yeah, is getting a bit more than maybe he can deal with. Yeah. There's, when there's like entire political parties that are going after you rather than just other crime families, it's a lot more tricky because they have like <laughs> official power. Yeah. Whereas he just has like fear. Mm hmm. Yeah, I imagine it must be difficult to get Scotland Yard on his side, if not impossible. Yeah. So that's yeah. always going to be out there looming. Yeah, yeah. They just broke in and didn't give a shit. Well, yeah, and they broke in to his house and yeah. put that thing under his baby's pillow. It almost made me think that they had they have like a spy, like one of the servants. Like they have people everywhere. Right? They probably do. Yeah, you know I mean, so yeah. Well, I mean, John mentioned this episode, like. Him and Esme can't do anything at the house because the maid just listens. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to start... Could be more capacities just than voyeurism. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to start suspecting Grace at one point, or at some point, because, I mean, she has done this before. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't I know. hope not. I, f I feel like... I like to think that they're just together, you know I mean? They, she might die, but I don't want, like, a will they... Will I feel they like or... he has more reason to distrust May. Ada. Oh, Ada. Sure. But, I mean, he seems to stick by family, no yeah. matter what. Except, yeah. except his dad, I guess. Yeah. Well, his dad <laughs> doesn't stick by why... family, so... Well, and that's why they are so close, I think, you yeah. know? Uh, you know, I love that scene when he was in the jail cell and the dog was down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was talking about, like, he tamed dogs. That was great. And he I... just kept trying to talk to him. He kept just saying what the dog's name, and he kept changing the subject. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was a powerful scene. He was trying to... Tame know... the dog. Well, uh, the preacher was trying to inflict fear and intimidate yeah. Tommy, but Tommy just wasn't having it. No. Yeah. Tommy, yeah, he has this way of just seeing through the intimidation and, you know, until, seeing what the motive behind it is. Until you threaten his family. And then yeah. He breaks, he breaks up. It's like, yeah. I'll remember everything and I will forget nothing. <laughs> yeah. And there's a, there's, there's hell, a hell below hell. <laughs> there's a hell and then there's another place below it. Yeah. I love the shot as well with Arthur washing his hands in the rain. Yeah. Oh, I know. That was fucking sweet, dude. Just, yeah. Like, if anything about this show, it's it's cinematic. It's beautiful. You know, it's it's good stuff. So we had Arthur, I think, is still struggling, you know, between... Good like, and evil. Yeah, good and evil. Like, you know, his, his conviction with his new belief system and then what his, con his conviction to be loyal to his family, to his brother, to make sure to keep the family... Being the guy to go to, yeah, yes. I mean, they do not cross paths. Much. Yeah, he's lying to his girl, you know, who says, you know, like the Bible says, you know, men do evil things at night, you know what I mean? Which, you know, I've done many evil things at night, <laughs> you know what I mean? So well, the dark is is where the devil works. That's full of terrors. The Russian angle is interesting. Like it's all there's so much politics in the show like at first it was just sort of in the background mm -hmm. yeah with it was like an inconvenience yeah with like almost freddy and ada and such but now it's like center stage between yeah it's like everything boils down to the politics of it all and mm -hmm. that's the way you know europe was post great war there was so much politics awash in the in the european stage yeah um and also uh polly like, I'm rewinding a little bit, but she obviously wanted him to make peace. Mm -hmm. And then now Tommy came in and said, you did the right thing. He's doubling down. Polly's always wanted peace. Yeah. Like, that's always her go-to. Yeah, but it's like she's kind of losing her grip on her influence. Of, you know what I mean? Which yeah. I think they obviously need her for balance. I think she, I think, honestly, I think she's being the smart one here in this situation. But now that he's done it, I mean, I don't think there's anything you can do. I think you have to double down. Yeah, but I still think Tom. I I, I don't know. I, I I would double down and go offensive, but I would tell John like, listen, you you fucked up, and now we have to do all this. So I mean, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, that's not how Tommy's rolling though. Yeah, not um, these days. Anyway, so the guy who's painting her, what's his name? What is his name? I can't remember. <laughs> but that that was a cool little scene. Yeah, what they're cute they? together. They are, and she's like, we yeah. already start. You know, she, and, and when he's when she said, when do we start? He's like, I've already started. You know. <laughs> yeah. Wrote that down too. Line. I gotta use that somehow. He, I don't he, know how. He's a charming man. 
He is very charming. You know what I mean? Um, but also probably a spy. I think so. It seems like such a big coincidence that... He's just around, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's just like weaseling his way in like, you know. It, he's like this helpful, charming guy. <laughs> I Bob love from Mad Men. I love Polly, but I don't know if she's the kind of woman to drive him to like be obsessed, you know? Yeah. Does that make sense? Um, no, I, I, you're, you're, being, you're being very delicate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're correct, but we also got to consider, I don't know, she is, she is. She's very strong. Yeah, she's a strong woman. And she's strong personality, and that's very, very sexy. And she did look good in that dress. And I, I, she is pretty. I mean, she's just past her, 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 her that age. Right? So is he. <laughs> well, yeah, he, he is too. You know, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> You're being very polite, <laughs> as you just said. Yeah. She's past the prime, boy. What am I going to say, okay? But she's, but you know. Maybe it is love. But, but it's that dress, too. You know, it's, because well, sure. he's seen her before. And he, we got a stat, we got to know, he was already attracted to her. So now we take... Or he's pretending. Or he's pretending to me. But what, we'll just say he was. And now she's in that dress. So it's multiplied. You know, I get it. I don't think, I don't think it's unusual. I hope so. For yeah. her sake. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just else. want him to be a new character. He's just a good guy. He comes in. He's not a spy. You, join, you know what I mean? Like a Michael. Like, like a Michael. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I don't want to get, to get corrupt. We need some corrupt. good guys in this show. Everyone that we're getting introduced to is just beating down Tommy. Just beating him. Yeah. yeah. Man. That Italian just broke that chair. <laughs> so, <laughs> so petty. He I broke love it. it. I Arthur, love it. Arthur's like, is that a little much? You know what I mean? And then afterwards, he's like, don't tell Tommy about the chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Any predictions for next time? Or Okay, the Grace. You think she'll be okay? Yeah. I, I think if it was going to be a mortal blow, it would have showed a mortal blow. Yeah, anytime oh. you get shot in the shoulder in a TV show, it'll be fine. Yeah. It's not going to like she's going to get affected in the next episode. <laughs> right, yeah. which is probably what would happen. Yeah. 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 It was a pass through. There wasn't any fabric in the way to get like lost in the wound. So but I think if, this it, is... if it were going to be infected, it would have to be from like the bullet. I think it's really going to drive Tommy off the deep end, though. Like yeah. he was paranoid before, and now he's just going to yeah. lose it. Well, yeah, and also like, what's that going to do to their, to their relationship? You know, I mean, is it not safe to have you around? Yeah. Our kids. You know, what I mean, you putting them in danger. You might want to try to send her to America or something. For a while, till things calm down, all this Russian stuff is out of the way. Russians. I don't know. I feel like further away from their center of power might not be the best idea. It's further away from center of power of the English government too, though. Further but, from the chaos, but you just have to make sure and, she's safe over there. I mean, an operative would be enough. Just one guy, whereas, you know, they'd have to have like an army come against an army rather than one guy come against nothing. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least they'd have a, a fighting chance. Maybe. I mean, I suppose he could send, you know, men to protect her and stuff like that, too. But then you're just getting into more. Like, if they know where she's going, the best thing to do they, is send her over they there. won't have any trouble finding her. Right? And then you don't even know where she is. Just you go somewhere. Here's money. Just go somewhere. Don't tell anybody, not even me. Yeah. I think that, you know what I mean? I don't know. I f- <clears throat> they have enough resources and everything. I don't think they'd have any trouble finding her. You don't think so? No. I have I mean, a bad they feeling. Have, they have Scotland Yard in their pocket. You know, Scotland Yard is... Well, I mean, in America. Not good enough to catch Jack the Ripper. That's for damn sure. That's right. That's right. Well, <laughs> it's um, like one out of thousands. <laughs> I wonder, now that we've heard Tommy's plan, I have a bad feeling about it for stealing those tanks. Oh, I know. But, I mean, that, that's the thing. Anytime they well, tell you the plan, it never turns out well. Anime. He, he's, <laughs> he's said anime. the plan before, and it's worked out fine. Like, at the Derby and everything like that. Like, he told everybody what the plan was beforehand. I mean, us, the there, audience. Yeah. There was a modification. But the, the, plan. the problem with this now is that they're forcing his hand, telling him to take the, the Duchess there tomorrow before the robbery, and it's going to alert people. That Duchess, that was the same lady from. Yeah. She didn't look as good. Maybe. Maybe, maybe she. But. Maybe the darkness hit. It's like the episode, a sign for episode. <laughs> she's in the bad lighting there. I don't know. What is a Russian Duchess going to know about tanks anyway? Like, she's going to go there and be like, oh, yeah. Well, she needs to know that everything is in good order. How's like, she going to know? She's not like a mechanic. Like, send I mean, just someone like, who knows. They were asking questions about, like, ammunition and, and tire chains and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like, that's. You don't need to be a mechanic to know that. It's like, yeah, that's chains, that's ammo. These are the trucks that we're looking at. Yeah. I mean, in an age where 
uh, the Great War has just happened. You can see that. Yeah, that looks like an armored vehicle. That's that works. Perhaps we'll see. And she she came from a war torn Russia. You know. Yeah. The re- le- uh, they're, they're the revolution and everything. Yeah. Yeah. But they're mainly just doing it out of spite, right? Because he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna have to check this sapphire." It turned out to be cursed, apparently. Damn it. I always like this kind I of think that shows, was, cause I, you know what I mean? It wasn't actually, like, a curse or anything. I well, think she was just warning him. Yeah, but, like, the idea is, like, obviously it's not a curse, because in, in this established world, there is no magic, or, you know what I mean? Right. But for the audience, it was. It's. I always like that kind of thing, when it's like, well, was it cursed? Because yeah, she got shot after. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and it's, it's like, obviously, just a coincidence. I mean, superstitions are self-fulfilling as well, a lot of times, right? Yeah, so yeah. it was just really cool. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I love this kind of things. Yep. So I love Vikings. And if you want to see the next episode, you can by going over there to patreon.com slash blindwave. And you can also see the full length version of this episode. It's on there as well. Subscribe and check out the Viking reactions. Make sure you yeah. check out our website. Awesome stuff on there. Where the vine don't like the bird